Hello, I'm JVD Koki. Today's episode is Shape of Water, co-written, directed, and co-produced by the filmmaker Guillermo del Toro. The out-of-this-world moving infusion of myth that hybrid human and animal with vertebrae creations like amphibian can fall for a complete homo sapien can only happen in the power of imagination of Guillermo del Toro. This eccentric fairy tale that different groups of living organisms can show indescribable emotion when attraction in a sensual sense emerges deep down from their five senses. This romantic love story comes in different shape or form from two species who found the true meaning of affection not through their voices but by signs, symbols, and complete understanding of each other's actions. Physical feature is not the cause of this love effect, but the astonishing curiosity of human beings to care for someone and grow to an unconditional love against all odds. Guillermo del Toro's creation of the amphibian character is mind-blowing. He's a monster to those who are cruel to him, but as meek as a lamb to those who are kind to him. He has a loving heart for someone who has shown interest in companionship and friendship in him. Above all, he is an excellent lover and a gentleman to his lady. They created the amphibian in this film beautifully as he changes colors with his feelings, has handsome lips to kiss a lady, and a good posture to dance with. Lisa Esposito, played by Sally Hawkins, a mute human being, completely and seriously in love with the amphibian, have proven that she's not only for comedy films, just like her role in Paddington, but also for leading parts that require acting craft extending far down the surface and can excellently emote. Kudos also to Michael Shannon. He performed this role as a villain that is worthy of recognition, as well as good command to the supporting actress performance of Octavia Spencer. Of the movie, this is a genius product of Guillermo del Toro's talent in filmmaking and expertise in makeup and effects that he has learned in his early years in the movie industry. The story is well written. The actors are tuned in with their characters that does not need a voice to deliver but was able to send the message of the needed sentiment to the audience. The film is an intelligent artistry in its total appearance. With this, this is JVD Koki saying, Arrivederci, paalam, adios, ciao, aloha, sayonara, au revoir, so long, and my screen is closing. Thanks for watching. See you on my next episode.